Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Some More Satisfactory. So, I did hook up the power here. Um, I just loaded up the game freshly, that's why it's kind of jumped up there. Um, but our current capacity uh, with everything we have is 257. Like, our, our max capacity actually is 700. But all the machines and stuff usage-wise can get up to 257, so say 260. Um, so, the top layer from the miner... It does 30, so it's impure, and then it's two normals, I believe, so it's uh, 60 and 60 coming out. So these are going to be important, so we know, you know, the, the math here. So if we go to the, let's let's do some uh, basic stuff, coal generator here. Let's place one of these. So these are pretty big. Uh, they're pretty epic, honestly, because of their size. They even have little ladders over here, which is really cool. Oh, I think they might have changed the speed of climbing. That was really freaking fast, wasn't it? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so let's look here. So you need 50 water and I guess coal. Do you have to put the coal in manually? I, I don't know how that works. Let's grab a piece of coal. I might have to look at the wiki quickly because I, th I think it should tell you, though, to be fair. So you shouldn't have to worry too much. But uh, actually, it might not even fire in there just for the fact that uh, yeah, let's throw this in here. Four seconds. Oh, okay, 15 coal per minute. Okay, so that's not too bad. So we could run four of these per... Okay, two on the one, four on the others. So that's not actually too, too bad, to be fair. Um, and then the water itself is uh, 45 per whatever. So if we go and get our uh, water pump here, I guess production probably. There you go. Does 120 per minute so 45 90 yeah this is not gonna be quite enough and then you have the pipes themselves i guess we have to figure out what their throughput is because that will make a, a difference to all this they do 300 that's not too bad so like yeah you could run if you do the basic math here right so um so 45 so 120 so let's say 300 right and divide by 45, I guess that's the best way to do it, is 6.66. Okay, so let's just say you can run six per pump. And then if we do uh, the 120, oh, I guess the way to do that is 300 divided by 120. Is that going to be like 2.5 or something? Yeah, 2.5. So basically 2.5 of those per whatever. That's fine. So basically two of these per... Um, so two of these per pipe, or three of them, sorry, for the full, yeah, six out of it. Or you'd be stuck to with five or something, I guess. So um, let's do this here then for now. There you go. Can I, oh my goodness, I don't think you used to be able to straighten these. This is new and I like it. I'm pretty sure you couldn't straighten those before. So I'm like, all oh, like Christmas day. Okay, so let's go get some pipes put in here. So we're going to get a pipe here. And then, oh yeah, you have to hook up. I forgot the pipes have all the fancy stuff. So if you want to hook up the other one here, we can go like something like this. There you go. Now, if you want to go up a wee bit on height-wise, that's perfectly fine. Just keep in mind that um, you don't want to go too crazy because you're going to need to... Um, actually, you know what? Let's redo this for a second. I wonder if I can make this funner. When I say funner, I mean like, can I connect you on here? No, you can't. You could put this on here though. I think that's like straight on that. I don't think so. It looks like it almost though. You know what? Let's try this for a second. I'm gonna try this. Might be fun. Oh, darn it. It's like, you know where I want it to go, but you just don't want to go where I want you to go. Oh. got it okay we got it there you go okay that's that's pretty darn straight actually let's put you in here let's put you over here there you go and i'll be our out okay perfect um so yeah so if we do the bottom we said 60 for them yeah so we could do that plus the top one i guess for the other two for now um we're gonna have to play around with this over time i'm not always the best with you know this is the fun thing you get to learn math. <laughs> it's like uh, maybe I wasn't really good in math when I was younger and then now I get to work. Actually, I sucked at math um, quite a bit. That's just 
pure fact. But now we get to learn to play with it even a bit better now, hopefully. So I'm going to put the one here. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five. And one more. Six. Okay, so that should be enough for the pumps for these guys. Which is the idea here. Um, ooh, you know what? Did we get... Oh, no, we don't get that yet, I don't think. There's one of these, but for the pipe one. And I think you might have to unlock it at the shop thing. Or maybe it's later on, but it would have been nice to have that now. Um, we can do some other stuff over time. Like, I can go like this instead, to be fair. And then just do this. So, one, two, three, four. And then... One, two, one, two, maybe. I don't know how well this will work, but we'll see. I'll just put these guys somewhere out here. They can come out a bit more. One, two. Yeah, we'll do something like this. I want to get one, one, two, three, four. Maybe it'll fit over here, possibly. One, two. And then more likely we'll want to fit these up higher for the next ones. Okay, so we're going to take you, and we're just going to take you over here. Okay, this is great. This will fit. Okay, and then this will be the top layer, which will be just for the other two, I think. Okay. I'm just thinking how those went. I think the first one was there, and that was the bottom two. Oh, crap. I forget which ones are the faster ones. I guess we'll figure that out in the long run. They're like, was it the bottom one or the top ones now? Oh, man. I said it, too, right, at the beginning, and I was pretty sure I knew what I wanted. But um, either way, we'll figure it out over time. Okay, so let's go ahead, and what we'll do is we'll do the splitter here, and we'll just set them like this, basically. So splitter here. Splitter here. Splitter here. I don't think they used to have that line there. That might be actually really nice. Also, I didn't realize it was doing such a good job. Slight down angle, but yeah, it's pretty damn... Um, slight up angle. What the fudgesicle? We won't question it. Okay, anyways. We got that done. And then we got this one over here we need to do still. So we're going to go over here. Just put it over here, I guess. And then this one will come up here. And then same idea. We'll do the splitter up here. Yeah, they did something to make it. And you hold control, you can even snap to it, too. That's uh, pretty awesome. I mean, the other one might have been weird because it was slightly angled off. That's probably what it was, but yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm not sure. Give me a second. I just looked at the other video, like one of the other videos we had. The top one is the slightly slower one. So that'll work in our favor, I think. Now, I could change this up a bit more because um, I do want to hook all this up, right? So... Um, four right one two three four and then you got these other two right one two so i could get this hooked up for four as well and then get the other ones hooked up for two so let's do power let's see how i can do this depends if we have enough materials too right so here's one and then two and then we just want two more right yeah okay so I'm thinking of just extending this all of a sudden because I was just thinking, oh, you know, why why not, right? So let's get rid of this for now. And, I mean, those are probably fine. We probably don't have to do it again. So here's one, two. So this is your good one-ish. There we go. Okay. So we can hook you up to here. And then, yeah, that should work. And then we're going to take you guys... And we're going to just take you... Oops, we don't need the those ones. There you go. One, one, two, I think is basically what we said. One, two. There you go. And then this one would be 
One, two, four, maybe. One, two, three, four. Don't know if that's too high or not, but we'll figure it out after. And then, yeah, so here we go. Let's do it right here, actually. Okay, so we have the bottom one, then that one, then that one, so three, and then four. There you go. So now we're adding the fourth one in. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add this in here. Four like that, okay. One, two, three, four, and then yeah, we need to add the new splits over here for these guys. There we go. One there, one there. And then we gotta do this part right here. There we go. And then we'll go and add you, and then you. Are oh, these a little high? What the fudge? A little low on this one, I think, is the issue. <laughs> that looks right there. There you go. Yeah, okay. That should work. Okay. And then let's uh, extend this all the way to the top as well. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, and then if we run another three of these, we can do 12, I guess, in total. But that, it doesn't matter right now. Um, but let's get these guys in here. One, two. And then I think he, he was good there, but I didn't let it happen. There you go. And then let's go ahead with the logistics here. We're going to come out over here. Oh my, there you go. I don't know how far I stuck it on the other one, but it's fine. This one's always a pain. Oh, pain. Can I get up here so I can make this easier? Uh, I guess we could just do it here. Well, actually, I might have a... I guess if I can get up here, it's good, but... Okay, let's see if I... There you go. <laughs> Just trying to get that right spot, you know? There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and we got to deal with this part now. So we can go something like this, I would say. We have to do it in a way that it won't cut and that I hope I did the one that was okay I feel like I might have derped up but so we'll find out I think that's just enough I don't know if this is smart enough to is that was that right then yeah I think it might have been working okay perfect so if it can do the uh, the green you know measurements then we're 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 game really Yeah, it looks like it can, so. I just don't know why it does one and then the other one's glitched out, which is annoying, but there you go. We'll have to do it this way, I guess.
this guy can come in. Yeah, see, this is the downside. I could go in through there. It's not the world's biggest deal. It's just I, I do clip in there, and it's kind of stupid, but meh. Now, could have done this up in the air, to be fair, but whatever. We'll do it this way for now. I could always build, like, a ramp or something over it, so I guess it's not, like, the end of the world, really. What I should probably do is this part first, then, maybe. Oh, crap. I didn't even connect one of these here. Go. Maybe better off connecting these one by one first here. Do, 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 do. Okay. By the way, I think you can. Can you do that? I think there's a way to pick up. I don't know. Is there an eyedropper? I think there is. I'll figure it out eventually. It's not like I need it right now, but all of a sudden my mind's like, you know, I think there's an eyedropper tool in this game. This is good. Okay, so let's start on this side first because it's going to be the most important. Uh, just so we get our numbers right. One, two... And then this one be three, four, five, six, I guess, right? So let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be right. And then, yes, you're done. And then this should be four, right? One, two, three, four. Excellent. I like it. Now, if you want, you could do your your height increase or something up here if you really wanted to. Like, you could go like this, for example. There you go. We can do it too high or something silly. Now, this thing is a pain in the ass. I might take it over. It doesn't matter too much, but... It's just more for me, so I don't have to, you know, get stuck in here as much. Okay, so let's do the power now. So let's do one in each one for fun. Might even do something over here. And actually, let's do it on this side. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll do that separately. Okay, let's do one right here. So let's do one out here. That won't hopefully collide too much. This line here, right? This one here? Oh, okay. That should be someone okay. It's not going to be perfect, but as long as it works, right, is the, the key here. So these are filling up, I think. They're not even powered up, but they're still filling up, I think, which is, that's a good thing. Because that way they, they get a better chance of working right away kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to do something like this in between, I think. Okay, so you can go, I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, you there, and then you here, and then the next one can be over here, every two, I guess, or something. I think we got that one in closer. Keep forgetting that you can do that, even though it doesn't seem right, you know? Anyways, this one here, you here. I guess you're already connected. Okay. And then these two here. There you go. 
out. So connected, connected, connected. So I think these are all connected then. Perfect. freaking cool don't know if they had the water stuff there before but uh i don't remember doing the kind of water animations but either way sounds were always amazing Let me oh here you can get up this way it's like now i just need a way to get back up and you can click the pipes and it'll show the water building up in here. So the pressure and everything will slowly build up. It's probably already power being produced to be fair. Oh yeah, there you go. It'll take a while for it to stabilize with water and everything else. But because it's not needing to use all of it also, it should drop pretty fast. So You can see the water is actually the issue right now. That takes a bit to spool up in a sense. And don't forget, like, everything has a buffer to it too, right? So, it takes time to fill up buffers. So, yeah. We'll wait a few minutes here and we'll see if uh, it's able to kind of catch up here over time. Okay, looking good here. I think it's uh, running now pretty smoothly. Uh, I think all the water is in there now, so... Um, this is good then. So you can see all the the bolts here just feeding them all in, which is exactly what we want. These sound really cool. These won't run as much because there's very little it's running right now, right? Just uh, four versus six. But, uh, and then they're not all at full blast. I don't know if this one lowers down if it's not. I don't know anymore. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Yeah, I think it is actually capacity. Oh yeah, so these run non-stop. So actually it's working great because they, they are running literally non-stop right now. So this is good news. Actually, I wonder if the bio generators are running then. They might not be at all. Ooh. But okay, let's go back to the top. I say we're pretty much finished here for now. Okay, I built a ramp here because I could barely make it over that one rock with this, but it was like going crazy basically. Like it was next to impossible. So, and that's with some speed coming up here. I wouldn't have been able to make it now at all. But uh, now that we're going up and kind of pausing here, it should work fine. Wow, that's those leaves are pretty hard. So, but yeah, we should be able to get through this just fine now. Takes a little bit extra effort because of the steepness right now, but uh, yeah, and then we can come across here and up this way if you want to go up this way, obviously. Now, I have the other way. I left the ramp, uh, those platforms there, which works too because you can get through here. Now, the only issue I have over here is I don't think I have an actual clearance to get over here uh, because it's just not meant for that. So, you could follow this, but more than likely, you're going to get trapped with water and stuff like that. So either I have to put, make a bridge across this over time or change things up, right? So, um, cause there's, yeah, you can't get across here. Let's try getting over here. I thought that little tree might die, but didn't want to die. Yeah, I think a little bridge or pathway over time will be required, but We'll get there. That might be one of those off-camera things too, because we don't want to sit there, you know, for like an hour and me trying to build a, a tiny, you know, bridge. So, there we go. Not too shabby. Yeah. So this is this is not too bad. This is 
I, I see there might be a way over there that way, but I think this might work better if we can get it into more open ground. So in the end, this little tractor did actually pretty damn good, honestly. I'm really happy with it. I thought we would have more issues with it, but uh, it's been actually really useful. So um, I like the dune buggy, but I think that's like the very last thing you pretty much unlock. So it makes sense. It's kind of more like an end game thing. It, it makes traveling amazing and fun. I like to kind of go exploring once I get that just because of how much fun it is. But uh, we can go like this and um, we're going to, oh, this one's keeping up. Okay. So we're going to be working on our platform. Now the platform is going to take some time to be fair. So keep that in mind. It, platforms uh, do take time to, to build. Uh, but it's going to be time to basically work on that platform that we want and uh, work our way out. So I think what I'm going to do is start somewhere else in the desert nearby, like not too far away, uh, but kind of work my way towards this base and then eventually kind of even replace the base, right? So for example, I could start in this area out. Uh, I don't mind destroying this, but like this might be a good spot to start, you know, this area and then work your way out. A lot of this is flat, which is nice, but... I think the problem with this area is either you go too high and then it's just this one big platform that looks like it's floating everywhere in the sky or you go too low and then you're not you're fighting nothing but sand dunes 24 7. So there are some wins and losses when it comes to working on the foundation and another thing I need to work on is not spin the foundation but rather use it as naturally as it wants to be placed so this way uh, we get a bonus of you know. But I would say like up here, like somewhere up here would be not a bad idea of doing it because then it's pretty high. But at the same time, like it shouldn't be too high coming over here. Uh, let's change the build mode here. Soup mode. But then we should be able to, you know, bring it over here, for example. And it's not floating, it looks like, which that's my goal, honestly, is not to have it float. It looks like it's going to float here, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was going to float, but I don't think it is. So that might work out. I think a good way of testing this is bringing it all the way over here. Towards the beach is where it's going to really matter. Like, right at the waterfront, obviously, if it goes down, I don't care then. I, I can slope it or whatever is needed, right? It's more like over this way. You know, before it hits there. I, I'm kind of curious. Okay, this worked out way better than I thought, actually. So That's that's where it starts hitting the water there. There you go. There's your height. So, yeah, it's all buried, basically. So that should be pretty good. So I think this will be the height I will carry out throughout the whole base. And I'm gonna do it out all in the open desert, and we're gonna we're gonna do another episode, and it, it'll be mostly me ripping down machines. And I, I probably what I'll do is I'll start with you know me just talking and showing you what we have, and then we'll start ripping it down, and then placing them in better locations. These could be shut down, I think. I thought these were gonna shut down, but I guess they're still running. Oh no, they're not running. They just look like they're running. Yeah, so these are like buffers in a sense, like batteries. These will not run unless unless there's a demand for them. Because I guess with the coal, they made them run 24-7. So they're not like kind of buffers uh, themselves. I think this happened like in update 4. But uh, now these can be used as batteries in a sense, if you you will. And, uh, or, and batteries, I guess, work as well. And then basically they won't activate and run until there's a, a surge or a demand of power. And then all of a sudden these will kick in and provide you with the power. So keeping these somewhere else and then having them as backup is not a bad idea because you can use, still use them as a, an emergency buffer later on. So, um, But uh, yeah, we should probably go ahead and take it all down. This is going to be a mess. But what we can do is uh, place some stuff down for this. Maybe up here just for the fact that, uh, yeah, can't even get my ass up here. That was weird. Oh, yeah, it's in zoop mode. So we can go like this. I need a bunch of these over time, but there you go. Store all, store all. 
Might as well have fun and uh, take down the old power system. Can I congratulate herself finally moving on in the world, right? <laughs> So with this, this is pretty fun, because what you could do here is you can hold control, right? So you can hold control, and you could do large amounts of these at once if you want. You do up to 50 items. I'm trying to just do, no, I'm not trying to do the power yet, just just the machines. Leave the power cables alone, since some of them are going to be attached. There you go, let's just do those first. Okay, that's not too bad. Can I just tap F when I want it? Oh, I can. Okay. This is even better. I was kind of holding it down and trying to not, like, hit one of them by accident, right? So. There you go. There, is there any more? It sounds like there's one, but, oh, these guys right here are built in. There you go. So we got rid of all those pretty good, actually. So let's do let's do store all from here on. Store all, and then store all, and then I'm thinking I'll take this apart. Uh, take all. I'll just come to the end here and store all, and then yeah, we can take this one apart, this apart. Oops, I don't think we're selecting it, are we? What were you trying to deconstruct, son? Out. I might put all this in a uh, better lo strategic location anyways. It's just more like, hey, you know, I'll move this for now. Some symbolize our, you know, our new changes here. Okay. There you go. But I can tell you this zoom mode is going to make this so much easier compared to back in the day. So I think this actually prevents me from going in there. That's cool. I did not realize that would be a thing. So literally, you can't place a foundation there because of that. So even if you didn't care about it, you, you might care about it just for the fact that, you know, you want to uh, place foundation there later on and it's like it won't let you, you know. So I'm guessing I could put, yeah. So you can put that over there. I don't know when they added the override, but uh, that's actually a really cool feature because, like, you wouldn't have had the override before and then it would have been annoying, right? So... But uh, let's put you somewhere around here for now. There you go. Oh gosh, these all light up each time. So let's just go and click them if that fixes it. I won't hook that up to the grid. Well, I guess you could hook it up, but uh, I'd rather not, to be fair. There you go. So 750 is literally, yeah, so there you go. For our capacity and production 750, like I said, coal is active power at this point. So it's always running. So we can put our MAM in here somewhere. You know, we can go ahead and build the other one here. Uh, production, I guess. Yeah, equipment workshop. There we go. We could take him, bring him over here because he's part of our part of our little setup in a way. like that for fun. It doesn't matter. There you go. But yeah, so there you have it. I love this. We I had a lot of fun doing this, so um, I'm happy with our power. That's That was a huge goal. It basically means we don't have to worry about power as much anymore. Like, sure, we'll have to upgrade MK2 belts. We'll have to upgrade the miners or overclock it. We'll add, have to add more of the power things. But like, literally all the work of like, you know, setting it all up, dragging it down there, etc., etc., planning it out. That's all done for us. Like, we're done. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that. So, basically, what I'm going to do now uh, throughout this episode, uh, not throughout this episode, through now till later. See, it broke. I don't know why it does that. Is it because we broke the other one and it screwed up? It's like, to me, it makes me worried that we're not actually lining it up properly with the gridding system. I don't think it matters, but you know what I mean? It, it is bothersome when that happens. You just have to ignore it. Oops, there you go. Keep in mind you have your uranium here. I might be able, I don't know if uranium's toxic though. That's the only downside. 
Let's see how bad this gets. Oh gosh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I just ate uranium and now my, my corpse is literally radioactive. Uh, I bet you getting near my container is going to be like toxic now. Yeah. Beautiful. So that was a bit of a derp on my part. So that's a radioactive container now because of that. Ah, I love it. Uh, I thought I could be smart ass. So I'm wondering what I can do about this. I, I would say the best way to deal with this is just run back and just die over there closer, really. Um, let's, where's our container? I guess we don't really have anything on us anyway. It's all foundation, but let's just store all this. Let's try that again. So the idea is we just run our ass off towards the, like, right on top of the uranium. So it's, that way it's there. There you go. Perfect. That's fine. Now the only thing is, it's going to always show up on the thing. So, um, I wonder how much to make a container. Um, or let's break a container, maybe. I really probably don't have room for one right now. Let's pick up all this, make a container. Just so we can, uh, break a container. There you go. So we'll store all that, and then we can break this. There you go. Just so we can make a container, and then... So my goal, uh, the, the reason I'm doing this is it's going to show the crate on the map all the time now, right? Like, no one wants that. So my goal is to basically place this container... Right beside the uranium and then hopefully crap this is gonna take me a while this is gonna be like a funsy basically the way to do this is actually to eat some of that food I have somewhere because then I can do it full health and you know live to tell the tale in a sense Damn, I didn't realize how inefficient food was. Okay, there we go. Now, if I'm not an idiot, I should be able to do this, hopefully, within the, the ten bars. I say hopefully, like, you know. There you go. We did good. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, that, that container will just hold the uranium for now on. <laughs> okay, my friend. So, yeah, I'll work on that. I, I'll probably take down all this over here. I don't think I'll take the full base. I think that'll be, like, a fun episode to do for that. Um, we'll see. I might consider cutting off the power, like, the miners themselves. So I might shut them down just so that way we're not picking up a bunch of ore. So we'll let them run out. But, yeah, I'm just going to do my thing way over here. So uh, we'll be back in a while. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.